Hi, this is George, and you're watching The Return of the King channel. I had hoped to release my next video on New Year's Eve, but that's not happening. So here's a short preview. There are now two eclipses in 2024 that will be accompanied by a comet. The first in the constellations having to do with the rapture, the second in constellations having to do with the tribulation. In the fall, the comet will appear in the constellation of the serpent, the eclipse in Virgo. In Genesis, we are told the seed of the woman, Jesus, the lion of the tribe of Judah, will crush the head of the serpent. If the Jewish religious year begins after the spring equinox with the sighting of the first crescent moon, the new year will commence on the 10th of April, 2024, the third day after the eclipse. Sighting of the moon on the 9th is questionable. The 10th is certain. And since there's no temple, it will be God who makes the determination. It will be the last day and moment of one year and the start of a new year. The new year begins at sunset, day turning to night at twilight. The first day of each month is a holy day. It starts with the blowing of trumpets after the moon is sighted. No working on that day. It's a day of feasting and celebration. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 15, 51 and 52, that we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable and we shall be changed. This day will be the last day of the year. The trumpet sounded to announce the new year will simultaneously close out the last day of the year. The twinkling of an eye is twilight. The moment when day turns to night occurs sometime during twilight. Paul says we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. The eclipse is a three-day notice to the bride to get ready. The bridegroom is coming. What happened at Mount Sinai is a type or foreshadowing of the rapture. They were given three days to prepare. And then, at the sound of the trumpet of God, they were to come to the mountain. God came down, and Moses went up. The wedding in Cana occurred on the third day. If the sacred Jewish New Year begins with the sighting of the crescent moon in April, then the second eclipse, accompanied by a comet, occurs three days prior to the Feast of Trumpets. The tribulation begins on the Feast of Trumpets, the next Jewish-related feast to be fulfilled. I believe the rapture will occur sometime between the two eclipses, most likely on the 10th of April. The war in the heavens found in Revelation chapter 12 is linked to the rapture. It could delay the rapture, but most likely not. If it does, it could occur any time between the 10th of April and the fall eclipse. The prophet Joel tells us, The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. Two eclipses accompanied by comets, the first in constellations having to do with the rapture, and then the second in constellations related to the tribulation, both three days prior to the events the heavens describe, appears to fulfill this prophecy found in the book of Joel in a manner only God can do. If you want to understand why I believe 2024 is the year everything changes, watch this video appearing here. Even if you've watched it before, watch it again. Everything in it points to 2024 as the year we go home. Thanks for watching.